it's Marielle, Mom and a Girl with Plans, and I'm going to do some memory planning today. I've got uh, my photos ready to go in my little plastic envelopes. These are my fave to just organize all my photos for the different weeks so that I can memory plan. So, what I'm doing for this week, it's a it was a birthday week. It was my husband's birthday. So, I'm going to be using just a probably just two stickers out of this celebrate book and then I'm going to be using this bright sticker book. I've had this forever. I actually bought a new one um, because they were on the clearance sale um, warehouse sale. So I went ahead and bought another one and I am going for it. These are so much fun and it's just really easy to play with these. I don't like to overthink it when I'm doing my memory planning. I like to make it fun fast and just get the memories down in my book. So let's get started. Okay, I've got my pages, I've got my photos, and the first thing I always do is lay out my photos. So, let's see. I've got, and I put the dates on the back. This just makes it easy for me to go ahead and um, have them already ready, prepped, and it makes actually memory planning go so much quicker. And what I'm gonna do this week is I'm just gonna use photos, not every single photo that fits up and down perfectly in a box. I'm going to put the photos different ways. Okay, this is ridiculous, but you know, this is, this is, this is what's happening right now. Um, and we're being ridiculous. And I, made, I printed a really big one for my husband's birthday. So I'm gonna kinda do some stuff a little bit different. Not everything perfectly up and down in the squares. Not a photo for every single day. Um, but just have all of the, have all these memories down in my planner. Okay, so this actually, I had used it in my Michaels class but I didn't use it on the right day. So I'm actually gonna put this in here as well. So first step is I use my Tombow permanent adhesive and I put the photos down on the dates. So I'm gonna do this big one that's gonna take up two boxes and a little bit of another one on the top. And I'm gonna kind of stagger this as well right there this was a big birthday I know he doesn't want to hear that but I love just telling him he's older than me now for this one I think I'm gonna cut it because right now it's fitting perfectly in that box and I don't know that I want it to I kind of want it I want to make it smaller so let's do that let's take it and I'm gonna cut it right above my head if I can make it straight let's see Close enough. Okay, so I'm thinking about putting this right up top. Kind of to give it a little bit more space away from all the busyness that's happening there. And then Izzy's first little swim. I'm going to add some more tape to and kind of put it right here. I just didn't, well, there. I didn't really want it touching what was going on down here. Okay, so that is down. And then next, I'm gonna go for this side. We will put this here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfectly up and down um, in the week. Sometimes I do, I'll put them, you know, like I will line stuff up if I've got tons of photos, like I will line it up. But here I've got some some wiggle room, so I'm gonna actually just kind of have fun with the layout. This, I know this is so ridiculous. We were, I think I was taking pictures or something of my planner and my daughter, I don't know. We started putting the discs on our eyes, just being weird. That's the kind of fun stuff, you know, that you won't remember that you guys, that you did that. So I love to add those things into my, what am I doing, into my planner. Okay. 
Okay, and this is her, all her planner goodies. Yeah, I think it's good down here. Okay, so step one is done. All of my photos are down. Yay! And so from those rainbow, I'm gonna use, I just grabbed a bunch of the rainbow stuff, um, extra sheets that I had from that rainbow book, and then this. This is actually from the um, Celebrate book, and then that birthday is from one of I have one of Kristen's many um, different handwriting. I love I pulled out all of her handwriting. I'm sure you know because I, if you follow me, you know I'm obsessed with her handwriting. So I made my own book. Let me grab it of all of her handwritten words. So I just flipped through all the books and pulled them out. And it just makes it easier for me to find them when I want them. So that was one of her birthdays that she wrote in a book. And I'm going to, now again, there is a new book that is just her handwriting, which is awesome. Okay, I think I'm gonna go with this rainbow theme. And I have it, again, with memory planning, I don't think about it too much. I just go for it. Um, because it's just about, it's more about the memories and getting it down. Um, and then, you know, I don't wanna spend all day staring at this page, you know? Okay, so I needed to put that little paw there. I thought that was really cute. All right, now, for the rest of it, I'm just gonna look through here and see what rainbow fun stuff kind of goes with it. I like those, some banners. I can add a banner for John's birthday. Oh, these are really cute. And I might do current mood happy. That's pretty cute. I think there was one in here. So I love my planner, I might put with that. I might use this one. I think this looks fun. Yeah, that's cute. I'll put that there. And let's see. Maybe I love my planner. I kind of like this Oh Happy Day one as well. Let's take a look and see if that would go good there. I say we do it. I'm gonna go over this way. That looks cute. I kind of like how it ties into those letters, so I think that's really good. And those are, again, from different sticker books. So a lot of times, you know, just flip through what you've got and see what you, you know, what works. Okay, and then I'm gonna add, where's that planner one? Let's take a look. Oops, here it is. I love my planner. I might wanna stick it underneath. Right here. Too quick. Oh, perfect. There we go. Okay. And then I need something fun up here. Let's take a look what we got. We could do, let's see. I wonder if that one would fit. I feel like it's too long. Maybe this right here. Let's take a look. Again, sometimes I like to put that on here and I can kind of move it around. I'm gonna put it right, actually I should line up that line all right here. This one. Let's see if I can get, well, I get really quiet when I'm focusing, sorry. There, okay. And then I can come back and journal on here as well. There's a cute rainbow. I'm gonna put it here. And write about Izzy swimming for the first time. 
I can put John's birthday, which let's put a, let's see what color would go good here. Got this orange one. Put that there, and I can go back and put his name on it. We could put the number, he'll love that. <laughs> okay, and add a couple see if we add a couple of rainbows right here and maybe okay are those upside down like are the rainbows supposed to go this way like a rainbow now I'm super confused I don't know hmm let's try it the other way normally bunting goes down where they hang down but for some reason that's looking strange to me, like it should go the other way around. That's a good thing about stickers, I can pop it off and try again, right? I don't know, it really, it's really kind of open. It can go either way, I guess. I'm wanting it this way because I feel like it should mimic those. And I'm gonna put one right here. There. And, I'm pretty much done. So that's the thing. With my memory planning, I don't, it shouldn't be a chore. It shouldn't be difficult. It shouldn't be overthought. And for me, because if it gets like that, I won't do it. So for me, it's got to be fast, simple, and easy. So I'm going to do this and I will add some journaling boxes and I'll be done. Thank you so much for joining me today with my memory planning. Please like and subscribe, and if you have any questions, you can send me a DM or mention them in the comments. Thanks so much. Bye.